subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chanson. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 12th of April. India US discuss Ukraine war, Afghanistan, Indo-Pacific challenges at 2 plus 2 dialogue. Pakistani spin hopes on new Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif fund inflation brought down. And Sri Lanka unilaterally suspends external debt payments, says needs money for essentials. And now for all the details. India and the United States reaffirmed their commitment to promote regional stability and rule of law at the fourth 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue held in Washington on Monday. Several issues including the ongoing war in Ukraine, the situation in Afghanistan, challenges pertaining to the Indo-Pacific region and a range of key bilateral issues were discussed. Talks in Washington took place between U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and their Indian counterparts S.J. Shankar and Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh. India and the United States discuss a broad range of issues from the COVID-19 response, climate action to global and regional issues, the ongoing war in Ukraine, the situation in Afghanistan, challenges pertaining to the Indo-Pacific region and a range of key bilateral issues. Delivering his statement after the conclusion of the fourth India-US 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue on Monday between Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken, and Secretary of Defence Lloyd Austin in Washington. India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar said, A good part of my meeting with Secretary Blinken in the morning went to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine that has many ramifications. When asked about India's position on the Russia-Ukraine war and India's energy purchases from Russia, Jay Shankar said the focus should be on Europe, not India. Several countries, including the United States, have slapped multiple sanctions on Russia over waging war in Ukraine. If you are looking at energy purchases from Russia, I would suggest that your attention should be focused on Europe, which probably uh, we do buy some uh, uh, energy which is necessary for our energy security. But I suspect looking at the figures, Probably uh, our total purchases for the month would be less than what Europe does in an afternoon. So you might want to think about it. Blinken said India's ties with Russia developed over decades at a time when the United States was not able to be a partner to India, but that times had since changed. Defence Secretary Austin said the two countries had signed a bilateral agreement to support sharing information and cooperation in space. U.S. President Joe Biden and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi earlier held virtual talks focused mainly on Ukraine and Modi said he had suggested to Russia that President Vladimir Putin hold direct talks with Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky. The talks took place as the United States seeks more help from India in applying economic pressure on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. Both expressed growing alarm at the destruction inside Ukraine, particularly in Bukha, where many civilians have been killed. Indian Army and paramilitary rescuers with helicopters lifted to safety on Tuesday. The last of at least 50 passengers who had been trapped mid-air since a fatal cable car collision two days ago. The cars on the Pilgrim Cableway in Dhyoga district of eastern Jharkhand state collided when one of them became partly dislodged from its cable. Neither car fell to the ground, but both became immobilized. The collision directly killed one person and another fell to his death on Monday when trying to climb onto a rescue helicopter. The cableway takes pilgrims to the top of a hill called Trikut, which Hindus consider holy. The survivors were undergoing treatment in hospital. The Jharkhand High Court has ordered an inquiry into the incident. जो है डिटेल ये विषय है विवेचना का और उसमें लगभग वो एयरक्राफ्ट तक पहुंच गए थे उसके ऊपर चढ़ते हुए शायद वो थोड़ा पैनिक कर गए 
किया क्योंकि एक जो ट्रैप्ड सिविलियन है वो भी 48 घंटे से 36 घंटे से बिना पानी के बिना खाने के है तो इस स्थिति में थोड़ा रहता है इन न्यूज फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान Pakistanis have said they are hopeful of the country's new prime minister Shahbaz Sharif and have pinned hopes that he will control rising inflation which ousted premier Imran Khan could not do after winning a parliamentary vote on Monday Sharif said that the outgoing government had mismanaged the economy and he faces a huge challenge to bring it back on track Pakistanis said on Tuesday they were hopeful of the country's new prime minister Shahbaz Sharif in controlling the rising inflation amid the ongoing economic crisis. Sharif was sworn in as the country's prime minister on Monday at the president house officially taking over from ousted premier Imran Khan. After winning a parliamentary vote he said the outgoing government of Imran Khan had mismanaged the economy and the new government was facing a huge challenge to bring it back on track. अभी शुबा शरीफ से हमको ये उम्मीद है कि इन शाह आने वाले वक़्त में ये बेहतरी लाएगा और महंगाई पर काबू पाएगा क्योंकि इन्होंने पहले भी इनकी पहले भी हुकूमत रही है ना तो तरक्याती काम बहुत ज़्यादा हुए हैं इनके दौर में प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ नेबरिंग इंडिया नरेंद्र मोदी अलॉन्ग विद अदर वर्ल्ड लीडर्स कंग्रेचुलेटेड शरीफ ऑन अज्यूमिंग दफिस दी वाइट हाउस सेट अ डेमोक्रेटिक पाकिस्तान इज क्रिटिकल टू यू एस इंटरेस्ट एंड इट सपोर्ट्स दी पीसफुल अपहोल्डिंग ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डेमोक्रेटिक प्रिंसिपल्स सो we support the peaceful upholding of constitutional democratic principles we don't support one political party over another uh and we certainly uh support the uh principles of rule of law and equal justice under the law we value our long standing cooperation with pakistan have always viewed a prosperous and democratic pakistan as critical to us interests that remains unchanged regardless of who leadership is the remarks came as imran khan earlier blamed the united states of conspiring to oust him a charge washington denies sharif said he will probe into the allegation and will resign if it is proved no elected prime minister has completed a full term in pakistan since its formation in 1947 though imran khan is the first to be removed by a no confidence vote moving on to news from sri lanka Sri Lanka central bank said on Tuesday it had become challenging and impossible to repay external debt as it tries to use its dwindling foreign exchange reserves to import essentials like fuel. The alienation of 22 million people is running short of power, fuel, food and medicines due to a lack of foreign exchange for imports. It has reached out to the International Monetary Fund and countries such as China and India for urgent financial help. Sri Lanka will temporarily suspend foreign debt payments to avoid a hard default the central bank governor P Nandalal Virasinghe said on Tuesday with its limited foreign reserves required for imports of essential items such as fuel the suspension of payment would be until the country came to an agreement with creditors and with the support of a loan program with the IMF the International Monetary Fund Sri Lanka starts formal talks with the global lender on Monday for emergency loans. The island nation's reserves have slumped more than two thirds in the past two years, as tax cuts and the COVID-19 pandemic badly hurt its tourism-dependent economy and exposed the government's debt-fueled spending. Street protests against shortages of fuel, power, food, and medicines have gone on for more than a month. Sri Lankan demonstrators have also intensified their protests calling for President Gotabaya Rajapaksa to step down amid a deepening economic crisis afflicting their country. As protests continue, Sri Lanka's Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa in a televised address on Monday said the country had reached a decisive juncture and called for patience. Rajapaksa said that the government which is led by his younger brother Gotabaya will bring back a fertilizer subsidy for farmers. who were badly hit by a ban on the product last year that was later rolled back meanwhile the three political parties that recently withdrew from sri lanka's ruling coalition have proposed forming an interim government with a new prime minister replacing mahinda rajapaksa they said on monday in news from nepal 48 year old nepali female climber lakpa sherpa is all set to begin her climbing activities in mount everest region 
aiming to scale the world's highest peak for the 10th time this season. Aiming to break her own record of the highest essence of the Mount Everest, Nepali female climber Lakpa Sherpa will attempt to scale the world's highest peak for the 10th time this season. The 48-year-old mother of three who works as a housekeeper in the U.S. was bid farewell for the summit in a special ceremony in Nepal's capital Kathmandu on Monday. Lakpa will first start off by scaling the Everest Beast Camp this weekend and would attempt the summit from the south side, which is considered to be full of difficulties. Young generation le gare also, ani I will ma teaching ekdam old system, ani ali the young generation le the old system birshe korai cha, ani ali kati birshe kosi thala ma life. The Guinness Book of World Record holder for most essence by a woman, Lakpa Sherpa, also made through the list of BBC's hundred women of the year in 2016. She had also scaled the Everest eight months after the birth of her first daughter and while she was two months pregnant with her second child. Hundreds of climbers flock each year to Nepal to scale Himalayan peaks during the spring season that begins around March and ends in June. A total of 204 climbers from 42 countries have acquired the permission to scale the Mount Everest this season, reports suggest. Afghanistan's ruling Taliban this month announced a ban on harvesting poppies and warned farmers that their crops will be burned and that they can be jailed if they proceed with the harvest. In the Taliban heartland of southern Kandahar, beekeeping is now becoming more popular as an alternative income-generating activity. The beekeeping and honey production industry in Afghanistan's southern province of Kandahar, known for poppy cultivation, has been expanding after long years of insecurity and heavy fighting. Now, it has become an important source of income for locals. Farmer Abdul Bari said that beekeeping has been profitable business in addition to honey, bees also produce wax, pollen and venom, which all have their own value in international markets. Mohammad Yaqub, another Kandahar beekeeper, said Afghan honey is also sold in other countries. It is believed that beekeeping could prove more lucrative than growing opium poppies. And with the Taliban Supreme Leader Hebatullah Akhundzada banning the cultivation of opium poppy and a trade of opium in Afghanistan, a move that came nearly more than seven months after the Taliban's takeover of the country, many farmers are looking at beekeeping as a key to replacement. However, farmers say that the government must find alternative livelihoods for them before banning poppy cultivation. Beekeeper Yakub called on the government to provide more opportunities for the development of the honey industry, saying every Afghan farmer must find good ways to cultivate legitimate crops. Tourist influx has increased in the city of India's Himalayan desert region of Ladakh with the easing of most COVID-19 restrictions. Tourism is the mainstay of the economy of the region and now local businesses are gradually coming back on track. Scores of tourists from across the country are thronging Leh City in India's Himalayan desert region of Ladakh after the easing of most COVID-19 restrictions. Ladakh's geoclimatic conditions, landscape, Buddhist monasteries and shrines, along with local vibrant festivals, are popular in cultural tourism. Tourists, both domestic and international, admire and are attracted by authentic traditional items with historic value. देह में सब कुछ खूबसूरत है या लोग अच्छे अच्छे ऑनेस्ट लोग हैं प्यार करने वाले लोग हैं यहाँ का लोकल खाना बहुत बढ़िया खाना है और यहाँ की वादियाँ यहाँ के पहाड़ वहाँ यहाँ का पानी सब कुछ तो अच्छा है अ प्राइमरी सोर्स ऑफ इनकम फॉर बिजनेसेस इन ले लद्दाख इज जनरेटेड थ्रू टूरिज्म एंड नाउ लोकल बिजनेसेस आर बैक ऑन ट्रैक ऑल मेजर सिटीज है Amid a drop in infections, 
India's active case load of COVID-19 stood at 10,889 as of Tuesday. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash AsiaNewsline and follow us on Twitter at AsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.